Keep your hands on your head! Do not move! London. Get out of the way! Home to over eight and a half million people. This taser is capable of delivering 50,000 volts! The task of protecting them falls to the country's biggest police force. You're under arrest, all right? Hello, Mitch Watson, police, how can I help? Show me your hand! I've got a taser, show me your hand! In a single year, they're called to 90,000 robberies and burglaries. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Chasing suspects, coming to our street. 100 murders. You've been identified as being responsible for the murder of David McKenna. And make more than 190,000 arrests. Bingo. Go on! You unlawfully and maliciously cause grievous bodily harm. Can you think of a reason now why I should give you bail for this matter? It's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it's a force seen by some as the enemy. Black people growing up around here feel that the police is against them. My driver has come into attack with a glass bottle and said his head's broken, and another officer has been stabbed in the back of the head. As they deal with life. You're 13. What are you doing using language like that? Come on, man. Death. Put on paradise. Crime and its victims. We lock up the bad people so that people like you can sleep safe and sound. 24 hours a day. Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer. Today we're back and we're on the next episode of GTA 5 Met Police in London. As you can see today, we are caught in paradise. Crime and its victims. We lock up the bad people so that people like you can sleep safe and sound. 24 hours a day. Your hands are your head! But it's where most of our cars are stored, but it's also a staff car park and the multi-storey police car park. And obviously there is guards on the door, but it's an open one, so you can just drive in and out without having to wait for barriers. But there is security guards that obviously check for IDs when you come in. It's plain clothed door in your own car. Obviously there's lots of cameras everywhere, so this is it. Now we need, my car should be on the bottom floor. As you can see, there's loads of staff cars and unmarked cars and things like that. And just There's a lot of staff cars with jeeps, I guess. And for some reason, someone has moved my car. And I'm not sure why, because my car was perfectly parked in this lane, as you can see, because I parked it in that lane there. So, uh... Someone's been and rammed my car, maybe? Let's see, is there any ram... No, there isn't. It's a bit weird. Oh, well. Right. Let's get on patrol. All does, I've got a cell phone call. There we go, and we're ready to assist anything that goes on. Now, obviously, we are a traffic unit, so we are going to head towards the motorway, but we respond in any sort of pursuit or anything like that. We'll get involved in all sorts today, but we'll make our way to the motorway. Okay, so we're going up onto the motorway. It's all good. We've got to wait for traffic to speed up a little bit. Right, okay then. Let's go. Now we're looking for people speeding, any fences like that. Obviously we'll pull some people over. What we'll do is we'll put APR on. Uh, what have I got? I've got a silver messer. Is there a silver messer in this lane? We don't want cars on the other side of the road. I think it is flagging at this second. So what we'll do is we'll speed up and make sure there is no silver messer ahead. Right, I can't see one, so I think it was just one on the other side of the road. So what we'll do is we'll get into this lane. Right, we'll fit in between that. Okay, that's a peyote. I don't know. A Formula Red peyote. License plate. 25 Romeo Tango. Lima. So is that that car there? I can't tell. Nope, it's not that one, so it must have been a one on the other side of the road that we don't, unless it's that one there. 
Oh, he's pulling into my lane. That's good. Right. Come on. Catch up with him. No, that's another one. Right, so I don't know what it was. Must have been just a mistake. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that red panto and gone. He pull, went to pull into my lane, then he wasn't. So, what we'll do. I don't know what the flag was for. Let's quickly have a look at the brief. Uh, panto. License expired. Okay, so what we'll do. So, once we get down here, we'll then pull him over. Uh, there's a police bike behind me and just a normal car. The guy in the black duke is, uh... Well, he's been a bit risky, isn't he? Driving at, like, 20 miles an hour coming off the motorway. Whoa, this BMW is trying to get in my way, right? Lighten him up. Come on. Pull over. Okay, he's just gone into a ditch. He's gone. Just pull up a bit more into the... Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. I'll let you have that. Now, unfortunately, there is only one set of lights for this car, and I'm not sure why. It is a bit of a pain, but I don't really know why. Okay, the driver seems to be nervous. Okay, swap. Please don't get out of the car, thank you. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, quickly do a few checks. Obviously, it's raining, so I'm going to go sit in my car just for a second. If you just wait there, please, sir. And he's now taking off. Okay, his driving license has been expired 254 days. Okay, we're back on to him again. Come on, mate, pull over. Don't be annoying now. Right, yeah, that's fair enough. That's safe. He's not next to the roadside, so I can then go to this side. Right. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to ask him, have you been drinking today? Uh, I have the right... Oh, okay, that's fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's have a look. What fits this? Okay, right. Um, do you know your driving license is expired? I know, but I like the license. What? But I like this license. I look young in the photo. Oh, okay, then. Do you know your insurance is expired? I don't have money to renew it. Okay. Right, okay, so I'm going to ask you to do... Hold it. Step out the car for me. I'm just going to take hold of you, just so I can put you in the back of the car for me. Second, because obviously it is chucking it down, we don't want to be dealing with paperwork on the roadside. There seems to be a major incident going on there. <clears throat> We're not getting involved. We're dealing with you. Right, I'm just going to close the door, sir. Okay, well, I'm going to close the door. There we go. Right, let's get in the car before we get soaked. Okay, let's do his vehicle record check. The Panto is the one we want. Okay, so yeah, that's all good. Besides that. Right, okay. So what I'm looking to do, let's see, can we do this, will it work?
I think. Whoa, where the hell are you going? Mate, just get back in the car for a second. Get in the back of the car, come on. Stop messing about. Right, I'll lock the door. Well, I'll lock the door. You know, I didn't think I'd have to do that with you, but okay. Stop, sorry. Right. Right. Vehicle record check. Done. Pez. Do -do -do. That's the one we want. Right, citation. Vehicle. Documentation. That a license. That a registration. Vehicle doesn't have insurance or does have insurance. I don't know. We'll check that quickly. Yeah, but his registration isn't valid. Okay, right. Yep, they're fine. I'll submit them. Okay, that'll be dealt with. He'll go to court for that. And obviously, I can't let him drive. So what I'll need to do <clears throat> is I'll need to get his vehicle towed away. Backup required in... And I'll have to call a taxi for this guy because we're on the motorway, so it's one of them where I can't just leave him here. Actually, no, we're not on the motorway. We're just off the motorway, but I'll call my taxi. Right. Call your taxi, sir. Seems it is raining. Issue a ticket from computer light. I'm going to do that. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to call you a taxi, sir. Just be on your way. When the taxi arrives, I'll be here in a minute. Right, let's get back on patrol, back onto the motorway. Okay, so we're back on the road. Turn the speedo on now. And we will see what happens. Let's make sure we're back. We are on call. We are available for calls, so that is a bit weird we haven't had any. Basically, just looking for people speeding, really. Auto in progress and okay guys we have a pursuit now is the pursuit coming our way or not I can't tell no the pursuit's going across country Okay, so we're now trying to get all units available. I've got a police helicopter up in the sky looking for him. I've got cars out there. Right, okay, it looks like we've re-engaged the pursuit again. Just need cars to move out of the way. Obviously, this car, we can speed down the road at high speed. Just need that helicopter to get above. Once we've got the helicopter above, we're all good. We are exceeding speeds of 102 miles an hour, but obviously we are trained to do this on a daily, so we're all okay. We're not putting anyone at danger because we're making sure the sirens and lights are on and we're being aware of all drivers that they could do anything. Eagle 7 reporting. Suspect is in a vehicle heading south. 
Yourself. Looks like they're heading right towards me. And I'm on. Right, it'd be nice to have some units now arrive to come and assist us. Right, so we've got a bike unit that isn't really going to be able to do much, but we've got a, an M5, another M5 somewhere behind us, helicopter, another car I can't identify, and myself in the BMW estate. I need to overtake this bike so I can take the primary again. Currently, the car is speeding away on the US Route 68. Speed's exceeding up to 7070. Heading on Parorama Drive. Yellow. Oh, what is it? Yellow sports car. Yellow bullet, to be confirmed. Going in for a T-Pack while I can. Okay, car has just rammed me twice, multiple times. Car has gone off road. Come on, we can capture up with them. Come on. It is getting very dangerous. Things. Really bad weather's and it's getting dark now. So we need to end this pursuit now or terminate. Mom. Right. Terminate pursuit. I repeat, terminate pursuit. Close the road. She said an RTC with a member of the public. Need a medic. We have immediately I need a medic. Uh Zantrudel River. Unit to spawn code three. closest road down. Need to ambulance now. Come on, ambulance, you can come through. You're allowed to come through. Come on. Time to get busy. You're going to bitch. Right, come on. You gotta save him, you gotta do something. Come on. Why'd we even show up? Okay, medics. Looking good. Let's go, you and me. Medics seen to him. Obviously the road closed there, road closed there, traffic car there. Obviously there would be a tent while this sort of thing goes on. Obviously cars would be completely moved out the area but obviously we can't do that right now it's a shame you can't get friends on this you know instead of going on 5m just have them join your single player session that would be kind of cool there was a mod apparently years ago on the gta 4 to do that but that happened to go on 5m and all that but unfortunately it just isn't a mod like that now okay what I'm going to have to do then is I am going to have to call the coroner. Obviously, they'll have to assess things. We're going to need to get a photo of our car. Got some serious dents in it. Obviously, due to trying to stop the car, we rammed into the back of a car and this one just died. But also, we smashed into the car and the car smashed into us and then smashed into everything else. Right. 
Getty photos. Here comes Coroner. Obviously, what we'll do now is we'll take a photo of the car from the back. One there. Hit by a vehicle, that's the death. Okay. Now, I'd have to rewatch it and I'll put a little clip again now of the repeat of what actually happened because I can't remember, like, I know he rammed into me and then I hit the car, but also, did he hit it or... I'm not sure. Right, let's get a few fun photos. Because the car was driving that way too, so it proper spun out to come over here. Unless the car was driving towards us, but I don't remember it doing that. I think it was going either way. Or it was going the same way as us, I should say. Okay, so what I need to get is the tow truck. He used to come and... Obviously, it's a crime scene. We're going to get the flatbed bomb. And obviously, blood results and things like that will be really important to know about the other driver. As well as, obviously, now we've got to go and find the guy who got away. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up all the signs. Obviously, see if I can, I can get my car towed. And obviously then I'll just get a lift back to the nearest station and get a new car. And then obviously what I'll do is I'll clear traffic. And that will all be good. Okay, so what we'll do guys is we'll jump back home at the next police station. Okay guys, we've just finished doing all the paperwork back at the station. We've been signed to go back onto patrol. And we have the BMW M5 right now. Obviously, we've got to swap cars because obviously that car's now a crime scene, so our own car. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn the speedo off, make sure our NPR is off, have it off, and we're going to see if there's any calls that need responding to. Okay, we just had a call to an arson attack, so obviously that's something we need to respond to immediately. It's literally on the Sonora Freeway. We have just crashed into that, but ignore that. It's really hard to see anything with these police lights. But we need to respond as quickly as we can, so it might be worth. Yeah, it's just very hard to drive in the pitch black with these police lights like shining in your eyes on top. Right, there we go. It's a bit of better view. Okay, apparently the fire's happened. What the hell? That was an explosion. I repeat, that was an explosion. All traffic stop, please. I'm moving in. Need to speak to the firefighter. Okay, it's fire chief. We saw a car fling in that direction. I need to know what direction that is. You might want to go and deal with that. Okay, requesting air support over. So, uh, mountain range officer searching Fioro GT Polar Rolls. Okay, so now we're just looking for the car. He's turning the lights off because that's annoying. Yeah, so do I. Okay. I've just got to pick up from where we're going. That's what I need to do is at least put my lights on again. And now I'm blinded again. What the hell, that's a serious incident, that. Okay, vehicle is on the other side of the motorway that I've just come from. I need to quickly do a U-turn. 
stop all traffic from coming towards me. And get straight out. Obviously, I can't see a thing, single thing right now. But I'm going to immediately request air support unit. Two firearms, because the guy who had a lighter was shooting a lot of petrol or bombs. And we're just going to call everything we possibly can in. We need immediate assistance. And obviously, as I'm driving blind, pretty much because these lights off, to just turn them right. The rain is way too heavy to be driving in. If this pursuit gets too dangerous, then we'll obviously just pull off and terminate the pursuit. But I would quite like to get us from Monte Dine. Because the last pursuit we had to terminate. That's a blinding view looking behind you. Right, police chopper is in the sky. Not that you can see it. Seriously? Go, 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 burn out. Right, if he does that again, we're terminating the pursuit purely because it's just not safe to be doing that constantly. I guess the, holy, he, the helicopter? The helicopter could just follow him. So a safe point, and then we can recapture him again if we really want to do that. Okay, he's just done that twice. Right, I'm terminating the pursuit just for the danger threat that he keeps going on the wrong side of the motorway and doing U-turns. Lights off. All units stand out. Police helicopter will follow. Okay, we have a call. Okay, yeah, so the person, APR, hit up a violent road rage incident. Obviously, the driver's wanted for that offence, so we'll need to pick him up as quick as we can. Lights on, please. Lights on, lights on. There we go. Not them lights. Them ones, there we go. Okay, we'll do a U turn here when it's safe. There's no cars coming that way. We'll get back into this lane. Obviously, that's been dealt with, I'm assuming. Fire set, London Fire Service is very good at their job. Now, obviously, we are driving. Now, obviously, we are driving quite fast compared to what we should be doing, but we're just trying to respond there as quick as we can without lights, but we're doing it safely. Okay, now will this open for us? Yes, it will. Okay, right. There's no point in putting the lights on. But we are going into a quarry. So he's obviously a quarry worker. Works in the quarries and... He's about to be arrested. Now he looks like he's up there. Now the car's up there. I can't go up there in my car. Can these pull a flashlight out and go and have a look for him? Hello? Police? Anyone there? I'm also not going to go dangerously onto cliff edges. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. Approach with caution. Okay, the car is trying to drive up a hill. Right, that's it. Everyone on the floor. The driver put his hands up immediately to get that one on the ground. Get you on the ground. Get the driver on the floor first because he's the one that's wanted. I'm going to pound you all kinds of ways. Uh -huh. Alright, keep an eye on the other one. The other one has an asp in his hand. That's an offensive weapon to have, unless you're a police officer. I'm in no but you're fighting me now. You're in handcuffs, mate. I don't think you are fighting me today. Attention, this is dispatch. We are okay, your friend's disappeared. Hang on, where are you going? Where the hell? 
Sometimes this game is so annoying. It can be so buggy. You can arrest someone and then they'll all of a sudden just start doing all this. And someone just despawns right on the floor. Right, yeah, you are already arrested. Right. Can I grab hold of you? Because it's quite a walk back to my car now, thanks to you. So, ah, your friend's there. Okay. Why is your friend dead? What have you done? You killed your own friend. It's a bit... Let's see if we can revive them. Just quickly, see whether this works, and then we'll just pretend it didn't happen. Okay, so they're both under arrest. Obviously, I should probably do with a partner right now. On my own, but you know, let's say if I can search them. I could technically get one on these to kneel down, so then I can search the other one safely without worrying about them grabbing me, but we're good. Okay, so there's a used needle and packing tape. Okay, so I'm going to pack you down today, sir, too, and if you've got anything on you, you can harm me or yourself. Okay, and a pocket camera, cigarette, and a wallet. Okay. So you were the driver, so I'm going to breathalyze you. Okay. I'm going to test your alcohol levels, and then we're going to do a drug swap. Right, thank you. So you were the driver. Okay, you have got alcohol in your system, but it is not over the limit. So you're clear for that. And we're going to do a quick drug swap. Obviously, as you are involved in an incident where you've been aggressive while driving. Right, okay, so you're the offender. So how do I deal with this? Because I need a car with a radio. Right, you're not the offender though, as far as my worst. So I'll get you to follow me. No, not that. I'm going to grab you. Hopefully they'll follow. Yes, he will. Right, okay, now we need to get back to my car. They haven't got a clue where I am right now because it looks like we're in the middle of a woods. Right, let's get out of this woodland area. Oh, my car should be up here. I can put... You can technically put them both back in the in the back of the car because they're both handcuffed, they've both been searched. There shouldn't be anything on them. You should never really put two people in the back of the car, but in this situation I'm on my own. And uh, I could go for backup just to take one, but I want to check that the you know that he hasn't got a warrant out for him as well. And then I'll let him go. So we'll go back to the car and we'll uh, check. Here we go, here's the car. Right. In fact, we'll put, we'll put the offender in the back. The guy that we know has got a warrant out for him. So I'll put you in the rear seat. And we'll put the guy that so far is known as a passenger. And he might not have any criminal record. We'll put him in the front. That makes more sense. also stops them being able to uh, give each other weapons if they did have weapons on. Also, one's on one side because on this side so they have to cross me. Right. Put in front seat. Right, if you could just get in the front seat for me. 
while we deal with this. Right, ped records. So there should be two, okay. So that's the guy that has a warrant out for him. A warrant for accessory after the fact. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a arrest report. Uh, yeah, we're going to do reckless driving because he was trying to drive up a hill. Evading arrest, we could do that because again he was trying to do that. Uh, drug possession, he had a used needle, didn't he? So, what we'll do is we'll say it's heroin, so we'll have possession of heroin. Submit him for that. Create citation. Vehicle violations, a public, a public speed and vehicle operation, careless driving, driving the wrong way because he was on a. Do you do anything else? Yeah, I'm reckless driving. I didn't see any of that. Right, okay. Submit them, right? So, you have a court date for them, right? So, now we need to go to this guy. Has he got any warrants on from him? No, okay. So, he was the passenger, so we can let this one go. We'll get him a taxi. Okay, so you could get out of the car for me. Nope, I don't want to get in the car. Nope, stop doing that, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go, let you go, I should say. Obviously all I did was detain you just for the purpose of searching you and making you sure that you didn't have any warrants out for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. don't run away, don't run away, don't run away, you're in a quarry, it's very dangerous. Don't run away. You're in a dangerous quarry, all I'm doing is this, just to stop and run away. All I want to do is call you a taxi. It wasn't that hard. Just accept the taxi. I don't want you running away in a quarry. It's a very dangerous place. Right, now this guy, I'm going to have to get him out of the car, Arna, just to give him his ticket, I think. Because obviously I'll have to give him a ticket and then also call a car from him. In fact, no, we'll we'll take him back to the station. It makes more sense. Come on, I stop doing that. I hate it when he does that. Right, get out of the car. Stop doing that. So annoying. Right, okay, well, let me give this thing because he's obviously been arrested. So, what we will do is we will put you in the car. Sorry to get you out. I know it's bad weather. Put in the vehicle. Mind your head when you get into the vehicle, please. Okay, please, matter about There's no need to do that. You can just wait there patiently, please. Right, okay, this ruined car pretty much is going to be driven back to the police station. We'll drive back when we get there. Okay, we have the offender here, so what we'll do is we'll drive him in there. We'll get an officer to come and get him. It's obviously my sergeant, I don't need to be dealing with that right now, I've got enough things to do. Right, we need to get this car back to that police car station in the city. So what we need to do is we need to go to a car wash. So we will join back when we're at the car wash and then we'll head down to the car park for this car. Obviously, obviously it's very important to make sure the car's washed before we turn it. Because we've been on some really dirty roads so we definitely don't want to be taking the car and parking it up for someone else to use it when it's dirty. There's a nice wash. It's sparkly. Right, perfect. Nice looking car. Right, 
We're going to drive to the car park and we'll jump back when we get there. Dispatch to all SWAT units. We've got a person with a firearm in grape seed. Units respond code. Three. Okay, we just got back to the station. We got that call. Um, armed police, gang members. Is it going to come up on the screen? Okay, so we're going to respond to that. We were going to end the shift, and this occasionally happens in real life. You get it. You get told you can go back to the station and your shift, and you just get another call to summit. It's an officer pressing his panic button. Obviously, firearms will be there. We'll just be assisting firearms and hopefully not get shot ourselves. It's very hard to drive in this horrible weather. Things like that happen. Because you've got to fit between cars and you just can't drive in a straight line. Go, 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 go. Quickly, let's respond. As fast as we can. No, what the hell are you doing? You see a cop car, you stop. Hate it when that happens. I know I should slow down technically, but obviously respond to a planet button. It's just a go, go, go in that situation. Especially involving firearms. Car should see the sirens. Well, see the sirens. See the light and hear the sirens and sort of slow down anyway when approaching junctions. Right, okay. I think that's a BMW that's assisting. I'm not really sure. I don't know where we're going. Front of my car now has been smashed, although we have only just had this car for, well, probably about five minutes. It's quite a drive, this. So, what we'll do is we'll join back when we get to the actual situation. Okay, we're arriving on scene, we're just about to go left here now, and then one more left, and then we are at scene. Right, here we go. Stay in cover until backup arrives, okay. I don't know what's going on. This is a massive gang attack, I think. Firearms have arrived. Hopefully more units are on their way. Okay, we're just going to stay down. Let firearms get on with it. Obviously, for some reason, the bottom of the... Well, these don't work, but obviously, if you've seen in my previous video, firearms pads work perfectly for me and anyone I spawn in, but not when I call them in. So I'm gonna have a look at that. Don't worry, guys. I'll sort that for the next video. Is it dealt with? You have, the right to shut the fuck up. I so. have you dealt with the situation? Whatever. I think we're a stand down. All units stand down. Code 4. That was a very intense situation. Now, obviously, what I need to do is get out of here. So, I'm going to reverse out this lane. And then drive around here. And then we're going to park up here. So, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for internet notifications. We'll see you guys in the next video.